Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brandy from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we are learning Bootstrap version 5 and in this particular video, we are going to look at Moodles. So inside of the Bootstrap documentation website, we have to go into components and Moodles is just about here. So Moodles haven't changed pretty much and it's similar to the off canvas, but then this is a little bit different in a way. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this example of a live demo and we'll go through it one after the other. So I'll just copy this. I'll come inside VS Code and I'll put up a container over here. So I have this container class over here. And let me also do a margin bottom of five. And I'll just paste what I copied over here. So I'll save this. And my live server is down. I need to come back and come and refresh. Okay. So let me go to the very bottom where I have this. And here we are. Let me try and get this container margin bottom five. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be margin top five. So I'll save this and yeah. So with the model, it's very simple. When I click on this launch model, we have this green up over here. And we've seen this um with some applications for instance you can see instead of launch mode are you here or you see something like delete so delete and let's change this to let's say danger that kind of makes sense so you have this delete button over here when you click on it then the title will read something like are you sure you want to delete or delete content okay so within the modal title so there's a button and this is pretty much very similar to what we did with the off canvas. So inside of the modal element itself, we have quite a number of things over here. So this modal title will be like delete element and which can be delete contact and all that. Then we have over here the modal body. So the modal body may contain some bit of text so maybe are you sure something like this so when i save this and get back here when i click on this you see we have delete elements are you sure then we may have a yes or a no over here or a yes and a cancel all right so this will model now inside of the model can be anything okay inside of the model can be anything so let's say we have instead of delete we have let's say a form so we are going to put a form inside of the modal body and i'm just going to come back to let's say let's do info over here so we have this form when i click on it i'm expecting to see a form over here so let's say we have over here inside of the title we have let's say sign up form And inside of the sign up form, we are going to have a bunch of items over here. So let's say we have a div. Let's put everything in the div tag. And inside of this div, we can have, let's say, an input of type text. Okay. And let's leave the name and the ID blank. And let's have a placeholder over here. So the placeholder is just going to be something like this name. So when I come back here and click on form, I have this name showing up over here. All right. And let's uh, pretty much duplicate this a number of times. So let's say we have first name. And let's have last name over here. Let's have email. And these are basic HTML stuff, okay. And let's have email over here for the input type. And we can have a submit at the very bottom. So let me just save this. And now when I click on form, this is what we have. Now in order to start things up, or in order to add bootstrap to this form over here, we can actually come 
inside of this and even though we haven't spoken about forms but then this basically what you are going to do with forms we can add in a bootstrap class of form dash control so when i save this now when i click on this you can see that the first name has been styled over here all right the first name is styled over here and all that i need to do is to add in form control or the class of form control to all the input elements i have over here so i'll do a control c and control v over here and save now when i do a control s to save and come back here we now have this form showing up over here clearly we can do a number of things to improve it we can actually give a margin button to all these elements over here and that's very simple so inside of the form control class we can do an mb dash two so let me copy this control c add it here and then also add it here so when i save this and now when I come back, you can see that you have these margins showing up over here. We can equally add in labels, but as you can see, these placeholders are serving the purpose of the labels. It is not going to be a good thing to add in a label and a placeholder. All right. So this is just by way of demonstration. In the next video, you are definitely going to look at forms. So that's going to make a lot of sense with some of these things. But basically, these are modals, and you can use modals to do pretty much a lot of things over here all right so this is going to be the end of this video now you find this content very useful there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambrotech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambrotech we say learn programming you can do it bye bye and catch you in the next video